everyone. You can come to a comfortable seated position on your mat, low for those who just joined. We often start out with just a short breathing practice. So bring yourself in a tall spine, letting your hands rest on your knees, rolling your shoulders down and back. Let's just come into the breath. Give me a slow, deep breath in. And exhaling out. You can keep your mouth closed, your mouth open, whatever feels comfortable. Again, taking a slow, deep breath in. And exhaling out. And as we breathe, just beginning to notice your body subtly move, how the body expands as you take in breath. And softens as you exhale out. Perhaps imagining the ocean tide, the ocean wave rolls in on the in-breath. Allow the ocean wave to roll out on the out-breath. Just letting everything go and being here in a soft space. And we'll just breathe here together for a few cycles of breath. As we breathe, invitation to call in anything you wish to call into your practice on this day, on this evening for most of us, some of us in Hawaii, some of us on the West Coast. What is it you want to call in to your body, to your life, in this practice? Deep breath in together, cleansing breath in through the nose. And exhale, open mouth, ah, sigh it out. <sighs> One more, cleansing breath in through the nose. Exhale, open the mouth, sigh it out. <sighs> ah, I'm getting on, yes. One more, deep breath in through the nose, cleansing breath in. <sighs> sigh it out, run it out. And let's come into the shoulders, finding some nice lean rolls with the shoulders. Just massaging your head and neck, gently dropping the head down to find a stretch on the length of the spine, the back of the neck. Still gently lean your shoulders. Grateful to spend this evening with you, to practice with you all in your corners of the world. Bring your head back upright and forward with the shoulders. Noticing if anything feels constricted and breathing into this. My offerings are always offering. You know your body best. Make any adjustments that you like. Bring hands to the shoulders and find the shoulder rolls, rolling elbows up and around behind it. Ah, it's so nice, opening up the chest. And let's go the other direction. We'll be here in the crisscross applesauce position for a bit longer. You can always make adjustments when you're sitting. sitting. It feels better. You can just come back to neutral, bring your hands to your knees. Flip the palms and inhale, sweep the arms up overhead. Exhale, hands to the heart center. Inhale, heart hands up to the sky. You look up. Exhale, float the palms down. 
Take a few more, breathe in, let's keep the arms up. Exhale, hands come to the center. Inhale, hands up to the sky. Exhale, put the palms down. Nice. Once more, inhale, sweep up. Exhale, hands come to the heart and stay here in stillness. Bow the head. We take a deep bow of the head so you feel another stretch on the back side of the neck. And just come into stillness. Mm. We'll interlace the palms here and press the heels of the hands away from the body. Raise the hands up overhead and press the pinky back behind you. And kind of return to a little bit of more of a neutral position and we'll come down to one side. Side stretch. And then come back and over toward the other side. And come back. Reach once more, nice and tall, send the palms of the hands up to the heaven, breath in. And release the fingers, just let the hands float down, interlace the hands behind the back, open the eyes for a moment, breath in. And an exhale, curl around, reach the head, raise the hands up behind you. Do the nice and gentle breath here. Again, nice. Stretch in the back of the neck, stretch on the underside, with the arms and shoulders. Option to find a little bit of organic movement. Right side. And then release the fingers. And roll shoulder turn the neck down upright. With your eyes closed if you like. It's going to be fun to try this way. What we're going to do is with your eyes closed, gently walk your hands out in front of you so your palms are in the mat. And we're slowly going to walk ourselves around our body using our hands. So we'll take this for a few breaths here. Just rotating around. Robin begins to sit me, hum up in, sing a tune to her lullaby. The evening, organically, fine. Your flow. Open my heart. 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 Open my spine, open my spine, open my heart. Go in the other direction, open my heart. Just making sure that you're doing both sides. Just for a little bit longer. And as we listen to these gentle melodies, we're deepening into the stretch, deepening into the flow a little bit more than we normally do. Oh, open my heart. Oh. In my heart, oh, in my heart, oh, in my heart. Okay, making your last rotation. I hope that you've had your eyes closed and you're just in this incredible enjoyment of the body, marveling of walking around ourselves, come back to an easy seat. And then gently we'll roll over our feet and walk ourselves into a little top position, finding some cat cow. So gently 
Inhale, find head up, tail up, cow pose. <sighs> and so curling on the head right. And you can take this as a bit of a flow, finding your breath. So inhale to open. Exhale, curl down. And again, just make any adjustment if you want it to be slower or faster. Follow along with me. Do what you need to do to nourish tonight. Keep a gentle fire light damp here. Maybe for about 30 more seconds. Gently, slowly, get to return back to the belly. 
Extend the right arm out long, left palm up at the end of your by your shoulder, and then the left foot comes away from the right side. Let's the other direction. So we're going to do breaths into the shoulder, into the lower back, into the spine. And slowly make your way left arm to the belly, bring both hands to some shoulders, and slowly raise up into the dog. And then find down to the back as you're ready. Up, roll down, palm step into the mat, finding your variation. Maybe coming out the feet by bending one knee, straightening the other leg. Is there any shaking your head? Yes, shaking your head. Hmm. And let's take three legged dogs, sweep the right leg up to the sky, and bend the right knee. You should find that as a nice stretch. An option to take some circles with your right knee round to the second. One direction, the other direction. And then take the right foot down, left heel lifts up to the dog, then the left knee. And then The other way. And then extend the left leg, take the left foot down, come back into the next down dog, rise onto the toes, bend the knees, and walk yourself through the top of the mat. Let's inhale to find ourselves in a halfway lift. And Tanasana, exhale forward fold, heel toe the feet wide, exaggerate it, bend the knees. And then so far that you actually let your torso rest on the side. And you reach for the elbows and just drag all down. And releasing the arms, bend into the knees and begin to roll up. One vertebrae at a time, shoulders, head and neck, coming up last. <sighs> we find ourselves in mountain pose. Let's do a little bit of shoulder warm up here and we'll let Robin sing for us. So this is a really interesting warm up. It's a little bit of a brain hand eye coordination so those who've done this before you know the drill but for everyone who's new basically going to be raising our arms up at the same time and drawing big circles the left hand is coming forward the opposite time that the right hand is going backwards so drawing big circles and we want to do it nice and slow and so for tonight i want to invite you to take 50 circles going one direction and 15 the other direction and again both hands should be pointing down at the same time and both hands should be pointing up at the same time so go ahead at your own pace and take 15 circles one direction and then 15 at the other as you're ready robin brings in these beautiful lullabies for us don't you know child I adore you, you make my heart beat just like a song. And don't you know, child, you've got it all, the biggest heart, the wildest smile, and the way you're wired. So don't give up, no, it's time to keep moving. Don't give up, no. 
child dry your tears. So don't give up, no. It's time to keep moving. Don't give up, no. Child dry your fears. Hmm. Okay, so we should have been about 15 circles on both sides. Maybe feeling some heat in your shoulders. You should start to feeling pretty warm at this point. Find a nice tall tadasana. Feeling your toes on the ground, your heels on the ground. Your belly button is strong. I'll come towards you so you can see a little bit. My hands are really active. So hands are active and drawing the shoulder blades down the back side of the back. Feels as if there's a string pulling up from the crown of the head. We'll take a moment here to just pause and breathe. Take a deep breath in through the crown. And exhale all the way down the body. Breathe down into the feet. Once more, inhale. Breathe in through the crown of the head. Exhale, breathe all the way through the body. We'll bring in the arms now. We'll come into our flow. Inhale, sweep the arms up to the sky. Look up. Exhale, swan dive down, flat back. Inhale to find a halfway lift. On the exhale, this time we're gonna plant our hands, step back and move through what's called vinyasa as we lower ourselves down to the mat. Inhale to find an up dog. And exhale to meet in down facing dog in your own time, your own way. Some people who are feeling still really energetic this time of night might wanna throw on some push-ups. Others who are still feeling more gentle evening energy, you can skip and just simply meet in down dog or child's pose. Anything you need tonight to nourish and be in that gentle fire light. Here for just a moment more as we really press into the down dog, heels coming down, hips coming up. And then rise onto the toes, bend the knees, gaze towards the fingertips and walk step up to the top of the mat. Inhale to find yourself in the halfway lift. Exhale, fold. And then inhale, rise up flat back, extend the arms, breath to the top. We'll come right into eagle pose. Inhale, exhale, right arm comes underneath left arm and begin to sink the hips down and find sort of a chair legs. And then option, to begin to bring one, your right foot over your left leg and wrap it around. Come forward so you can see a little bit better. So this is our eagle pose. You can take a modification and bring the hands to the shoulders if that feels more comfortable. And then you can choose to keep the legs crossed or not. We're just sinking down here in our eagle posture. Just a few minutes more. And then as you're ready, Release the legs, inhale, sweep the arms up. Other side, exhale, on the left arm comes underneath right arm, sink the hips down, sitting down, and then the left leg comes over. So pausing here for just a moment. Nice. Again, take your variation, it's a great balance posture. And release the legs, inhale, sweep the arms up, look up. And then exhale, swan dive down, flat back. Inhale, find us in halfway lift. And exhale, plant the hands. And again, flow through your vinyasa. Knee and down dog. You can skip all together and just hang out in child's pose, whatever feels nourishing. And everyone meeting in down dog now as you're ready. Three-legged dog, inhale to sweep the right leg up to the sky. And on the exhale, we'll draw the knee forward towards the nose, and we're going to plant the right foot down at the top of the mat. Ground the back heel, rise up into warrior two. So take a moment to find a nice warrior, bringing their feet so that they're in the same line, bending into the front leg. We'll reverse the warrior, inhale, sweep the right arm up to the sky. Nice side stretch. Then we'll take side angle pose. Side angle pose, left arm comes up to the sky, right hand comes onto the thigh, and we're gonna take this as a flow posture. 
So we'll have a few cycles here with song and breath. So the way this works is we'll inhale to sweep the left fingertips up and circle them down. So nice and slow with the breath. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale, circle for about eight to 10 circles, nice and slow. Open my heart. Open my heart. Open my heart. Open my heart. Oh, open my heart. Oh, open my heart. Okay, and as you're ready, slowly come back up into Warrior Two. And we're gonna straighten the front leg and bring the palms together to touch at the top of our mat. Our back heel is still 45 degree angles. We're gonna float the left hand down to our back leg and behold, we are in exalted triangle pose. So both legs are straight and both arms are straight. Reaching with your right fingertips back behind you. We'll set ourselves up for classic triangle and sweep the left hand up to the sky. Now right hand comes onto the right shin or maybe onto your mat. Make any adjustments with your back foot and pause in triangle pose. Find this nice grounded posture. Invitation tonight, if you haven't tried this before, normally we look up in triangle. Invitation to look down tonight. Look down at your foot, look down at your mat and just draw in the calming, grounding energies of the earth in this posture. If you follow Ayurveda, this is particularly grounding for the vata doshic type to send your gaze down to the earth. Here for just one more slow inhalation and exhalation. And then gently triangle pose, rise up, bend into the front leg, find yourself back in warrior two, gaze over the front fingertips. And take a breath in, exhale, slowly cartwheel the hands down to the mat, frame the front foot and flow through vinyasa. Meeting and down facing dog or child's pose. Preparing for the other side. Excellent, really nice everyone. All right, coming to down dog from wherever you are. Three-legged dog, inhale, sweep the left leg up to the sky. On the exhale, slowly draw the knee in towards the nose and plant the foot to the top of the mat. Ground the back heel and slowly cartwheel the arms up. Find yourself in warrior two once more. Take a moment to pause in warrior, maybe inch the front toes out. And we'll exalt the warrior by sweeping the left hand up to the sky, right hand floats to the back leg, still bending into the front knee. And we'll prepare for our side angle, uh, side angle pose flow. So slowly rise up, right hand comes to the sky, left hand comes to the thigh. And once again, with sweet lullaby, we'll take about eight to 10 circles with the breath. So inhale, right hand floats down, circles down and around at your own pace, eight to 10 circles. I want to be free in me, be the only being that I see, not to rise, not to fall, be at one with love and all, there is no high, no low, there is nowhere else to go except inside of your heart and be just who you are. Beautiful. And coming back into warrior two, you completed your circles. And then we'll gently straighten the front leg, 
bring both palms to touch for just a moment. And then float the right hand down behind you and begin to stretch with the left fingertips for exalted triangle pose. Reach and stretch, deep opening tonight. And then as you're ready, we'll prepare for classic triangle. Left hand floats down and lands on the shin. Right hand comes up to the sky. Perhaps inch the back foot in so slightly and ground into your triangle pose. Both legs are straight, both arms are straight. And then once again, that invitation to send gaze down to the earth, down to the mat tonight for a grounding, calming triangle here for just one or two slow inhalations and exhalations. Beautiful. Really nice, everyone. Triangle pose, begin to rise back up now. Bend into the front leg with control. Gaze over the front fingertips and take your breath in. Exhale, cartwheel the hands down to frame the front foot and flow through your vinyasa, meeting a down facing dog as you're ready. Just take a moment and down dog to begin to really find the full expression of this posture, feeling every single knuckle grounded onto the mat, every single finger and every single toe. Let's pause here in down dog. Option to reach for the back foot with your left hand and simply see if you can touch your left ankle and return the left hand. And then reach for the right foot, see if you can touch your right ankle and return your hand. Do that one more time. Maybe left hand comes back, see if you can touch the right ankle. And the left hand returns. And then the right hand comes back, see if you can touch the left ankle. Nice, and right hand returns. Coming back into down dog, let's slowly begin to drop the knees down and find heart melting pose, walking the hands forward and taking a nice deep back bend. Chin can come down to the mat or forehead can come down to the mat. Few breaths here. Okay, and slowly, as we did before, begin to bring your weight into your forearms, arriving back at Sphinx Pose. We're going to set up to take um, Locust Pose from here um, with emphasis on a bow pose variation. So we'll be reaching for our feet. Um, for some people, that might be a little bit difficult. So if you have a strap handy, that can be really helpful. Even just the act of reaching is really good as well. So we'll slowly begin to lower the torso down to the mat and begin to reach for the feet. And we'll do, wow, I'm feeling, I'm not sure what to call it, intense heart opening tonight. So let's do three, three bow pose. So the first one, sometimes just a bit of a warm up. So let's begin to rise up, kicking the legs up, opening the heart up, reach and stretch and find your posture. Can maybe take it 75% as you're just warming up. Maybe for some people they haven't done this in a very long time. Here for three, two, one, and gently release. Everything comes down to the mat. <sighs> Exhale out, let it all go. We'll have two more tries. So for try number two, you see if you can put in 85% effort. So begin to reach for the feet and slowly begin to rise up. Everything comes up off the mat. 85% effort. You're trying pretty hard. You're still kind of sensing into it. Holding four, three, two, one, and then let everything go. Other cheek rests on the mat. Exhale out. Nice. Okay, so for the last one here, we're going to give it 100% of the effort. I'm being really mindful of your body, finding the resilient edge of resistance and honoring where you are. Go ahead and begin reaching for your feet. Go ahead, go for it. Rise up, 100% effort, as big as you can. 
holding here, here, here for three, two, and one. Whew, let everything go, other cheek. Rests on the mat, and you can bend the knees and gently windshield wipe with the knees back and forth. It'll help release the lower back. Ah, so nice. Okay, and gently come into stillness, setting the feet down, bring your hands to the mat, press your upper body off the ground, and we're gonna come into a modified child's pose where we keep the knees together, and then gently bring the forehead down and reach for the back toes. And seeing if you can kind of gaze at your knees so you can have a nice stretch in the back side of the neck. And we'll set ourselves up next for something called Go Mukhasana, cow facing pose. So slowly unroll and make your way out of the position, kind of sitting on our feet. I'm gonna face you for cow facing pose. So for this one, it can be a little intense on the knees. So if you've already done this before, you already know how to do it, go for it. Um, we start out with the right knee on the bottom and the left knee comes on the top. But for some people that can be really uncomfortable. So you can just take classic crisscross applesauce style if you like. So take your variation on the legs. If you're doing the full leg variation, right knee's on the bottom, left knee is on the top. Then for the arms, we're gonna take eagle arms again. So inhale to sweep the arms up to the sky. Exhale, right arm comes underneath, left arm. Beautiful. Always that option to reach for the shoulders instead of totally crossing the arms, um, depending on your body. We'll raise up first, gaze up. And then exhale, curl and round. And we're gonna be here for a few moments, a few cycles of breath, just leaning into this passive stretch. Nice bound posture and receive the sweet melodies of dear Robin. Om Namah Shivaya, Om Namah Shivaya, Hare Hare Bole, Namah Shivaya, Jatta Tarai Shiva Jatta Tarai, Hare Hare Bole, Namah Here for about 20 more seconds, just breathe into it. See how much you can open and release. Mm. And then slowly, slowly, as you're ready, begin to come out of the posture. If you have your arms bound, you can just let them sweep down the body. Wow. And either way, uncross the legs, even if you're in crisscross applesauce, and kind of shake the knees out. If you took the crisscross applesauce seat, see if you can switch the legs around. And for everyone else, we'll have the opposite knee underneath. So if you had right knee under, left knee on top, it'll be left knee under, right knee on top. And then sweep the arms up. And then we'll do left arm comes underneath right arm, raise up with the gaze, with the breath. And then exhale, curl round down and melt. And here for a few cycles of song and breath. Om Namah Shivaya, Om Namah Shivaya, Hare Hare Bohole, Namah Shivaya, Jata Tarai, Shiva Jata Tarai, Hare Hare Bohole. Namah 
Mm. So beautiful. And slowly begin to roll yourself all the way back upright. Again, open up the legs, shake out the knees. We'll bring the feet together, prepare ourselves for a forward fold. Start out by coming up onto the sits bones. And I do that by kind of rocking my hips from side to side. Be flexing the toes, so toes are coming towards the nose. Inhale to sweep the arms up. And exhale, forward fold. Again here for a few cycles of breath, just breathing into the space. Om Namo Narayanaya 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 so beautiful, Robin. We'll slowly walk ourselves back upright. We're going to take the same variation that we did at the beginning of practice, where we walk ourselves around the giant circle, but this time we're going to take it with our legs open all the way. And if you have really tight hamstrings, you might sit up on a blanket. Um, that can sometimes help. So it's really similar. And again, invitation to close the eyes. And we'll slowly just walk the hands out in front of the body and walk yourself around in really big circles. And notice if anything feels particularly tight, you can sort of hover and stay there. We'll have nice, slow, even breath and beautiful song. Maybe aim for oh, 10 to 12 circles, um, maybe even with your eyes closed as you receive the song and then go 10 to 12 circles the other direction. Om Namo Narayanaya 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 Make sure you go the other direction. Nam Vande Jagad Guru Nri Krishnam Jange Jagad Guru Om Krishnam Jange Vanadami Krishnam Vange Chara Guru Om Once you've completed about 10 or 12 circles on both sides, staying low, we can just pick a side. I'm going to go with my left foot and slowly find a deep, deep stretch. So I'm facing my left foot and walk the fingers away from the body. And see if you can release your head and neck. Just breathe into the back side of the hamstring. Maybe four, three or four more deep inhalations and exhalations. And then as you're ready, you can switch to the other side.
and just walk yourself over towards the right side or the opposite side. Again, take three or four slow inhalations and exhalations, breathing into the hamstring, thinking length, thinking opening, thinking nourishing. And then when you feel complete, slowly begin to walk yourself back upright. Bend the knee, shake them out. Then begin to make your way onto your backside, drawing the knees into the chest, rocking from side to side. We'll do one more little flow for the evening, a nice rolling bridge pose. So you can plant your feet on the mat, keep the knees bent. And then prepare to raise up the hips. Maybe take a breath in. And exhale, lower down. And we'll bring in the arms. Now inhale, sweep the arms up overhead. Breathe in, hips come up. Exhale, lower. Do that a few more times. Inhale, raise up. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, raise up. Exhale to lower. Last time, inhale, raise up. We'll keep the hips up this time. Exhale, just the arms come down. Interlace the fingers beneath the body. Begin to press the toes into the mat. Really raise those hips up. Imagine there's a block between your thighs and squeeze that imaginary block to protect your kneecaps. I feel a slight compression on the throat. That's perfectly normal. And then slowly, slowly release. Bring the hips down to the mat. Take constructive rest pose for a moment. That means keep the feet wide, knees touch. One hand to the belly, one hand to the heart. Let's take a fish pose. Close out our active postures. Extend the legs long. Walk the hands underneath. The body, both the hands have palms facing down on the back side of the body. So pressing onto the mat, we rise onto kind of onto our elbows, open the heart and raise up the chest. The weight should be on the crown of your head, resting so lightly because most of the strength is in the arms. Fish pose here for just a few more moments. And then slowly begin to release, release the arms. Once more, bring the knees into the chest, rocking from side to side. And then gently drop the knees down to the left side, open up the arms and gaze to the right, finding supine twist. Here in this twist for maybe a minute or so. Just relax and receive and be in gentleness. Om Namah Shivaya. Om Namah Shivaya. Are hare bohole namah and Slowly begin to make your way back to the back side. Bring the knees back into the chest. You can once again rock them from side to side for a moment. And then gently set the knees over towards the right side. Open up the arms and gaze to the left for supine twist. A few more breaths, a few more moments here. Om 
Namashivai Om Namashivai Hare Hare Bohule Namashivai Hmm. And slowly coming back onto your backside, maybe rock from side to side once more. Reaching for the feet, let's find happy baby pose, bend the knees, and just gently rock from side to side, straightening one leg, straightening the other leg. We have about one minute left to take any final postures that you would like to take. Some people like to take um, plow pose when they bring their feet up over their head. Some people like headstand, anything, maybe a little bit of a legs up the wall, anything that you need to feel complete. Have about mm, 30 more seconds for just a final posture. And as we are here, just for a little longer. We will close out practice as we'll have a nice, beautiful Shavasana with some song. And then Robin will come up to the screen and blow the candle out and we'll just turn the video off and you can kind of just drift off into your Shavasana. We'll leave the chat box open if you'd like to say something in the chat, but we'll just stay in gentleness. And as you're ready, you can slowly begin to come into your final integration, final resting pose. Letting your legs come all the way down to the mat. Your arms come down. Soften the jaw. Coming back into the easy breath we had at the beginning of practice. The sweet gentleness of the flow as Robin sings us into the dream space of final rest. I want to be free in me, be the only being that I see, not to rise, not to fall, be at one with love and all, there is no high, no low, there is nowhere else to go except inside of your heart and be just who you are there is no high no low there is nowhere else to go except inside of your heart be exactly who you are Mm-hmm.